Welcome learners to Form 3 Mathematics. Today learners, I would like us to look at partial variation. Partial variation. Let us look at this question. A quantity y, learner. A quantity y varies partly as x. Whenever you see this term here, part, partly, it means it's partial variation. Some students ask, what is the difference between joint variation and the partial? Whenever you see these terms here, partly, partly, it means you're dealing with partial variation. So, Nana, a quantity y varies partly as x and partly as the square root of x. When x is 4, y is 14. And when x is 9, y is 27. The question is, find y when x is 16. So, we go to the first sentence. The quanti a quantity y, look at that, a quantity y learner varies partly as x. We come and write proportionality sign like that. Varies partly as x. Here we are. Varies partly as x. And partly as the square root of x. Here we add the two parts. Add partly as the square root of x. I hope you understand that. This one is made up of two parts which are varying. You have a part x and you have a part, another part square root of x. So in partial variation, we normally add like that. So y proportionality sign lana x plus square root of x. The second step, uh, Lana, is to remove this proportionality sign. So you write y. You replace this proportionality sign with equal to. Okay? You replace it with equal to. Whenever you replace it, uh, 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 you replace a proportionality sign with equal to, you normally fix a constant here and also here. So suppose we put a constant k here, Lana. Proportionality proportionality constant k multiplying x then plus another proportionality sign call it m multiplying the square root of x Lana. so you put two different proportionality constants here fix k here fix m or you can use any letters a b and so on and so forth so let us fix our k here and m there from here Lana. We now go to the second sentence. When x is 4, when this x is 4, Lana, y is 14. So we write, we substitute this when y is 14. Here we write k, your x is 4. Look at that, Lana. Plus m square root of x, which is 4. Hope we are together. From there, you see this is 14 is equals to k times 4 gives us 4k, Lana, plus square root of 4 is 2, 2 times, uh, 2 times who? 2 times m gives us 2m. There we are with an equation with the letters k and m. You can simplify this equation by dividing everywhere by 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Dividing by 2, Lana, just to make it simpler, you get 7 is equals to 2k plus, plus what? Plus m. This is your first simultaneous equation, Lana. In partial, in partial variation, Lana, we normally come up with the two simultaneous equations. And this is one of them. We continue with the sentence. And when x is 9, y is 27. When x is, uh, we go back to this, Lana. When x is uh, 9, y is 27. Again, we substitute. 27 is equals to k. Our x is 9. Okay. Plus m square root of our x is 9. There we are, Lana. So from there, we talk of 27 is equals to 9k plus square root of 9 is 3. So 3m. There we are. Again, there is a common factor here. Divide by 3, Lana, to make it 
simple. So nine is equals to three K plus two. And this is your second simultaneous equation. From here, learn, we solve this. We solve these two simultaneous equations for us to get K and M, the proportionality constants. Maybe I can do it here. So we have the first equation. I can say that this is 2K plus M is equals to 7. Okay. Then this one I can also start from this side. 3K plus M is equals to 9. Solving these two by elimination learner, we can see we have a name here and a name here. So we can do it by elimination very fast by subtraction. So we talk of 2K minus 3K gives us minus K, Lana. Then M minus M gives us 0. So we have eliminated your M. M minus M is 0. It's uh, gone. And therefore, 7 minus 9 gives us minus 2. Like that. So negative is here and here. They can cancel out. And therefore, K is equals to 2. Then, if K is 2, what is M? Go and substitute this K to your learner, either in the first or the second equation. Suppose we substitute it in the first, we write 2. K is 2 learner plus M, remember, from one work, plus M is equals to 7. So this is 4 plus M is equals to 7 learner. And therefore, what is your M? Your M is 7. Take this to this side, minus 4. So M is 3. You have got the two what? The two constants, proportionality constants. From here, learn, we now go to what we call the connecting equation. The connecting equation. Maybe I can write it in short. That can help us to solve some problems. So you have got your K and M. Come and fix them in this equation here. This one here. Fix your K here. I hope you can see. Add your M here. So our connecting equation will be Y is equals to uh, K, which is 2, Lana. Our K is 2, as you can see. X plus M is 3. Here it is. Square root of X. We will call this a connecting equation that can now help us to get Y given X uh, and so on and so forth. So, we are told, the question here is, find y when x is 16. What is y when x is 16? You just need to go with your x to the connecting equation. You fix your x here and here, and you get your y. And so, if I can say y is equals to 2, your x is 16, plus 3, square root of 16. Okay? So, this gives us this thing. This is 32 learner plus the square root of 16 is 4. Look at that. And so, Lana, here we are, 32 plus 12. And so, your y is 44 when x is 16. There we are. So, Lana, go and practice on partial variation. Partial variation normally gives us two simultaneous equations that you solve to get your constants. After getting the constants, come and fix them in this equation here, Lana, so that you get the connecting equation that can help you to solve or to get what you are at. Otherwise, God bless you very much. Continue.